going on my people it's your boy z gaming i'm back for another video on the walking dead road to survival and guys in this video i'm gonna go over the war prizes real quick i'm also got a couple pools i'm gonna do um also guys if you haven't entered the giveaway yet um i believe there's a day or two left um so my last video if you haven't watched it yet go watch that it's for a 15 dollar itunes gift card or a ten dollar google play gift card if you want to enter um feel free um, it doesn't cost anything or anything, obviously, so, you know, if you want to check it out and you want to enter for a chance to win that gift card, um, just a reminder, it is 18 plus and United States only, um, because of certain regulations and stuff, so, you know, go check that video, it has all the rules, etc., so, without further ado, let me go over these prizes, I'm not in this war, so let me go over these real quick, um, as far as the milestones for this Blitz War, 5 star tokens, 4 star weapon tokens, and these necklaces, so not too bad, um, pretty good in general. Um, prizes, 5 star tokens, 4 star weapon tokens, elite item tokens, not too bad, especially for a blitz war in general. Now as far as the, um, this is actually pretty interesting, I do want to go over this new event basically for this character. So you get these, um, I believe they're lorry tokens is what they're called, you turn them in for this stash and you get basically a free, um, ascendable 5 star. And this lorry is actually pretty good guys to be honest, the 5 star version of her, I believe she was a war prize, maybe if I'm not mistaken, but... Um, you know, when she was a 5-star back before 6-stars came out, she was very good. You know, impair for 2 turns up to 3 enemies, that was pretty strong. Um, you know, once you get the 6-star version, I think she's actually still got some very good use for offense and defense. 300% um, damage, impair for 1 turn up to 2 enemies, up to 3 teammates. Get 60% attack and 60% defense for 2 turns. Her attack is decent, HP is pretty good, defense is pretty low. Um, so in my opinion... Um, defense all the way, even for offense, because if you put her behind a Mirabelle lead, you don't really need to add attack. And if you put her behind an Erica lead, you obviously are not as worried about the attack. So I would go defense 100%. So 30% defense, or excuse me, 35% defense. Huge AP bonus and a stun gun should do pretty good with her. Neutralize is good as well. Um, you know, active skill is okay, but nothing too great there. But in general, not a bad character. Definitely worth getting. You know, you get her for free from the stash events are so pretty cool. Um... You know, obviously, just make sure you log in, claim the tokens. I don't know what's in the second stash yet, in general, but, um, um, oh, that's actually pretty cool. It actually even gives you the percentages of getting the, um, things. They change, um, obviously, as the pools improve over time. You know, the second one, you get the completion reward, but we'll see what's in that one, obviously, as time goes on. So, that's pretty cool in general. Let me know if you guys have pulled any good characters here recently as well. Um, the Aaron did come out as well. You know, nothing was too spectacular with him. He's okay, you know, he does damage, he heals, um, his attack's pretty low, HP's pretty good, defense is okay. Um, in my opinion, he's more of a character for a survival road or something, attack and critical, so you could use him, but in my opinion, I would recommend the 6-star green Negan, or 6-star green Carl over him still, obviously. So he's not bad, but he's not the best. Um, so I went over that as well, so let me go and do these pulls real quick. The Sandy promo is back if you guys do want to pull for her. She's not bad. She's still a pretty good yeller for offense for sure. Um, not as good as she used to be, but she's more of an offensive character in my opinion than the defense. But um, I'm also going to send another character real quick, guys, as well. So I'll do that after I do these pulls. So like I said, I got a couple pulls. I've been saving them up, trying to do more pulls in a video instead of just throwing you know, a couple here and there. Try to do some bulk pull videos, etc. So... Um, let's start out with the four star pool. Obviously, it's a uh, it's most likely fodder. So four star yellow Jesus. I still remember when I wanted to get him and I couldn't. Um, just couldn't get him because you know I I just never could get him. Um, elite item token pool. Um, Aiden or a Benedict would be nice. A Bert. Okay, so you know I can use it for a level up. Um, four star weapon pool. That'll be the next one. I want Negan's SMG or that Dwight's club still. So I'm gonna pull it on the Lucille. Come on. And I got Dr. Steven's Bone Saw. I don't think I've had this weapon before. Um, I do like that 20% AP it gives. That's pretty good. But, you know, yellow weapons, 9 times out of 10, you need the bonus AP or absolute defense. So I might break that weapon down. We'll see. I might keep it just because it's a unique weapon as well. Um, prestige pool. Um, obviously, any 5-star or really any character because it's fodder either way, most likely, unless it's a 5-star I don't have. So let's pull it on the Robert Kirkman Negan. And I got, oh wow, I got a 5-star Shane. That's pretty cool. So I already have one, so he's a duplicate. Um, I will sign up for that war, but I want to finish these pools, guys. So 5-star um, pool, let me see here. Um, who do I want to pull on? I got two pools. I still want that green Morgan. So who is after Carl? Um, let me see. Who's after Mirabelle? 
I pulled on Mirabelle. I've pulled on Shiva quite a lot as well. I pulled on Earl. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, who is next? Herschel. Let me see here. Heath. Uh, I don't want to pull it on Kenny. Who's after Kenny? I don't need. I don't want to pull it on Blue Glenn either. So, who is after Double X Tyrese? Uh, no, I'm not gonna pull it on Yellow Sandy. Nope, not. I'm not gonna pull it on Ellen, guys. Uh, no. Who's after Green Glenn? All right, let's pull it on Turkey Hurst. So why not? Let's see what happens. Two pulls. Come on. Five star. I don't have. That's pretty cool. That's the new Carl. So that's a character I don't have, and I already got a Darlene. So that's a duplicate. Um, but this Carl is pretty cool. You know, he's not obviously not the best five star. Um, but I just like the fact that he's unique um, in general, so that's pretty cool. New 5-star I didn't have. That's pretty cool. So let me go ahead and get into this Ascension, guys. It's actually pretty tough because I had to think about this one, but this one really is going to come down to specifically because I need another character um, that's arranged. So obviously that kind of gives it away a little bit that it will, either be, it will be a ranged character. So I did decide really... Um, between it was between these two between Eugene and the second Mirabelle and to be honest with you guys it was very very tough to come down to these two because Eugene's good he's not obviously the best but a second Mirabelle is not is not too bad either and I actually ended up deciding to go ahead and get the new Eugene um you know like I said obviously he's not the best character but he does have a use for sure as far as the um the five star, excuse me, the six star red goes. He does do pretty good damage, and um, he recovers from stun and confuse, so that's pretty good. Obviously, not the best six star by any means, but I need another ranged red so I can have a full stun and impair team, and that's why I decided to go ahead and go with him. I really thought about getting a second Mirabelle, but in my opinion, I would prefer to have a different character that's a six star, and that's why I decided to go ahead and get the Eugene. So let me put these back on here. Um, actually, I believe. I believe this is my 14th 6 star if I'm not mistaken. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, um, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, my 14th 6 star. So here we go, guys. Let's get this Eugene. Um, I don't really use the 5 star Eugene as much anymore. So I'm, I'll have better use for him as a 6 star, obviously. So let's go ahead and get him. So here we go, guys. 14th 6 star. Let's get this Eugene. Um, he looks pretty cool. And I do like the fact, you know, his AR... Um, it it is a little bit slower, but he does do quite a bit. Uh, excuse me, quite a bit of damage in general. And um, I just wanted to get another six star that's arranged. I could have got a second Mirabelle, but I, since I already got one, I kind of want to get six stars that I don't have. And um, he's a ranged character, and that's what I needed. So um, there it is, guys. You know, going over the um, war. Excuse me, the Blitz War prizes broke down the um, the whole Lori event, etc. Um, let me know what you guys think of all of it in the comments below. And um, as always, guys, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, all the links to everything's in the description, including my roster reveal, which I do need to update that again. And I will do that here very soon. And again, the giveaway is over in, I believe, two days, if I'm not mistaken. It could be one more day. I'm pretty sure it's two, though. So if you haven't entered yet and you want to, um, go ahead and check that video out. It has all the rules, etc. Um, and as long as you follow those rules, you can enter in and everything. So um, with all that really being said, guys, this is your boy Z Gaming. Peace.